If we say that the Old Fashioned is the original cocktail, and the Martini is probably the most famous, then the most mysterious cocktail would definitely be the Aviation. The Aviation was created shortly after the invention of the aeroplane as a sort of homage to that new and exciting technology. And there's always been a lofty and elite air surrounding this cocktail, pun intended. A sort of je ne sais quoi. A hundred years ago, for you to know that it existed and order it, and even for the bartender to know how to make it, would put both of you in a pretty exclusive international club and earn you the title of being a true cocktailian. Well, just because things are exclusive and posh, it doesn't mean they're actually worth drinking. So today, I'm going to give it a try for the first time and find out what all the fuss is about. The Aviation is a gin-based cocktail, so what better gin to use than Aviation American Gin? A relatively local product for me as well. Beyond that, this cocktail is part of the greater sidecar family, and in particular, it shares its template with such famous recipes as The Last Word, The Corpse Reviver No. 2, and my personal favorite, the 20th Century Cocktail. What makes this cocktail stand out from all the others is its use of creme de violette, a sweet liqueur made from violet flowers. This liqueur has made a comeback in recent years, but since no two brands taste alike, there is no universal recipe for this cocktail. The specs I'm following today are from The Educated Barfly, a well-respected and reliable source, but... Well, you really should watch the tasting notes all the way to the end to see how this turned out. Starting with a mixing tin, combine 3 quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, three-eighths of an ounce of maraschino liqueur, three-eighths of an ounce of creme de violette, and two ounces of gin. Add some cracked ice and a large solid cube to the tin. And shake until thoroughly chilled. Fine strain into a coupe. and garnish with a maraschino cherry. And that is the aviation. All right, well, moment of truth. Time to give this thing a try and find out, find out what it tastes like. I'm so excited. Wish me luck. Cheers. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's not what I thought it would taste like. Okay, I think I know what's happening here. So when I smell it, I'm getting the cherry and the violet, which are very sweet aromas. But after tasting it, it's very tart. It's very, very tart. I think that it's just the specific recipe that I'm using, which I got from the Educated Barfly. And I think he was using a different creme de violette, which probably has less sugar in it. So I've seen other recipes that will use some simple syrup in them, kind of sweeten it up a little bit. I would probably use a quarter ounce of simple syrup in this to kind of bring that sugar level up, just for, for my taste. Maybe if you were using the Ruffman and Winter rather than the uh, Tempest Fugit Creme de Violette, it might be sweeter than this stuff is. So the specs I use today might work better for that liqueur. So this is very tart. I'm gonna give it another try, but So after a second taste, it's still pretty tart, but it's not as bracingly like slap me in the face sour as it seemed like on that first taste. The aroma from the violet and cherry in the liqueurs, it, it tricks you into thinking that this is kind of more of a dessert drink. So it's a very difficult to describe 
flavor. I know what's in it, so I can pick out the hint of the maraschino liqueur. I can definitely taste the floweriness. There's a very strong lemon presence. I might even want to just bump up both of those liqueurs from three eighths of an ounce to a full half ounce using those particular liqueurs. I think this recipe is widely variable in the specs for it because personal taste will really guide you in different directions, as well as there's, I think, a big variance in the sweetness and intensity of the creme de violette liqueurs that are out there. So if you're using something that's very intense, you might back off on how much you're using, or you might up the amount of maraschino that you're using. It kind of depends on how you want to go. You could add more sugar to it. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of variables there. It's definitely not like any other cocktail I've tasted before. I'm going to play with the specs a little bit because I, I think I will like it a lot more if it's sweeter. I like the flavor that it has. I feel like it just needs a tiny little bit of sugar. Just, just a touch more sugar and it will be perfect. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. This thing came out pink. <laughs> the aviation's supposed to be blue, but you know, that's what I get for uh, not driving all the way to Puyallup to get Ruthman and Winter and uh, just settling, settling for uh, Tempest Fugit. Who's ever said that before? Which if you don't know, Tempest Fugit is uh, an extremely high quality uh, liqueur company. They make fantastic products. So you're not settling by buying them, but they tend to be a little bit unique and different from maybe more mainstream or traditional ingredients sometimes. So have you tried the aviation before? Is it a cocktail that you enjoy? Is it a cocktail that you absolutely despise? If you have your own unique specs for how to build this, I would love to find out about those. So please post them in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every view that you guys give me, every like, every dislike, everything. My name is Luke, this is the Homemade Edition, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So, cheers. Hey guys, Editor Luke here, and as you can tell, I was a little bit dissatisfied with the recipe that I got from the Educated Barfly. Sorry, Leandro. I just don't think it works very well with the Tempest Fugit Liqueur de Violette. So I just tried it out again using the specs from the Cocktail Codex, and this is a way better cocktail. This bears way better with the Tempest Fugit. It's a little bit sweeter. The specs are completely reworked, totally different amounts of the Luxardo and the Violette, and it also has some simple syrup in it. So very different recipe. This is a really, really good drink. If this is what I knew I was gonna get at a bar, I would totally order an aviation in the future. This is this is right up my alley. The specifics for all the specs are in the video description, or you can always pick up a copy of the Cocktail Codex if you wanna have a paper copy of it. Back to all dressed up fancy Luke. Cheers. I guess I was expecting something more like the 20th century cocktail, to be honest.